Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm using the firmware ZYES. So this is, I don't believe it's the sixth test firmware. This thing here has been released after the first official beta, but this thing here is not the second official beta, right? It could become, I guess at some point, uh, when Samsung fixes the issues, which I'm gonna show you in this video, some of the issues that I experienced, but right now this is considered to be a test firmware, all right? So my advice is guys, if you don't want to get um, your experience compromised, don't use it. Honestly, I don't really have that much of an issue, but there are. My biggest issue with this is that my cards, although here, yeah, you can see they don't work because my device doesn't meet the security requirements. Although the Play Store, you can see that the Play Protect certification is there, but the whole firmware is still not yet full certified. Now, something guys that I wanted to share, which I believe is interesting and was discovered by Ice Universe. He shared this today on X. When you open certain applications, right, it seems that you need to wait for the animation to fully complete before you can interrupt it, okay? And this does not happen everywhere, but it happens in at least two sections. So Ice Universe identified the gallery. So let me open the gallery. I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna open the gallery. I'm gonna scroll, right, open it again. And okay, you can see, right? I have to wait until I'm able to do something. Let's try it once again, open it. Okay, now it works. But when I open it and when I do like this, right? And now see, right, I'm not able to do this. And the other area, guys, where I identified this to be an issue is in the new split screen. Now you know the thing. We have something like 90% of the screen area here for that application. And boom, just this little window here. And you can click it. And I do believe this is very useful. But see here, guys, when I do like this, right, and I'm not able to immediately do something. So I need to wait for the animation to finish. Okay. Now, you know what? Let's cycle this and this. And you can see. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, Hey, yeah, it's still glitchy. The other thing that I have observed is when I'm using my phone, so let's say I'm recording audio, then boom, at some point, this will pop up or this will pop up, let's say my notifications. So it's still buggy, right? It's not to a point that it will prevent me of using um, you know, what I use on a daily basis. And of course, it has all the new things in One UI 8, such as when you go to the front video, you're gonna see that you have log there. And that's, I guess, apparently a thing. Also, at some point, uh, you know, they also updated expert role works right now. But there are other things, guys. For example, good luck as well. So if you uh, think that you can use all the good luck modules, you cannot, because Home Up, for example, still does not support Android 60. So it is still not perfect and that is probably also the reason why Samsung are still not releasing uh, the Samsung uh, One UI 8 official beta 2. Also what I don't know is if they're gonna keep the ZYES. Else there are some new things around and you can check my video for example like the new reminder app that is totally revamped and you're able to now log reminders with you know your voice and stuff like this. And of course also the new voice recorder, the new interface minor things guys right so i'm just thinking samsung are definitely going to into the right direction also what i would like to see because when i right now go inside um, the wallpaper and style right besides of course the new two wallpapers the dynamic ones we do still have the same color options and the new android 16 material expressive tree whatever google call it, it it's probably going to present more options and it's interesting to see how samsung are going to embrace this and what they're going to do but okay right now guys this is still where we are so this is the sixth test firmware we only have one official one year eight beta and hopefully very soon you're going to get another one and yeah probably can show you one more time the back so you open this and you see that's a bit annoying Right, and then uh, the other thing is with the new split screen. Now it's interesting that this probably is gonna work or not if you're not using the new 90 by uh, 10. Okay, yeah, probably, right, you see. But the moment you do something like this and you try to switch it, you need to fully wait before the switch happens. Okay, see, so far again, main bug for me is uh, NFC payment apparently doesn't really work. And then of course we have this animation box whatsoever, but I have Volti, I have Wi-Fi, 5G. So pretty much everything else works not that bad. I can probably also show you the battery life because I'm using now uh, the S25 Ultra as my daily phone. It's gonna be interesting to check what happens on the battery front. Okay, so right now today you can see it wasn't really great, but let's try to see how much SOT I have. <laughs> All right, four hours, etc yesterday for uh, five hours and three minutes with some top-ups 
Okay, you can see it barely lasts a whole day, guys. So, yeah, I start early in the morning and then I have to just stop up a bit. So, it's not yet perfect. Although, I get some very good days, almost getting like six hours uh, without doing anything. And I know a lot of people will jump and say, yeah, this is very bad. I get 12 hours. Hey, man, you know, this is how I use my device. You know, I go a, a lot of outside, a lot of 5G, a lot of the camera stuff like this. Also, something else that is interesting, I try to do some camera samples in expert role. I try to understand what Samsung are doing here. And and if there are any new things, but it's just too uh, soon and just too early, guys, to do this. Overall, right, not that bad. I was just able to capture those shots. That's now a raw shot. You can see I'm able to edit the highlights and only then shadows. And I have, of course, more dramatic examples. So let me just show you this one here. This one is from a concert. All right, so this is, again, a raw shot. And the good thing about raw, expert raw works. And we can force 24 megapixel, which I think is somehow like the sweet spot. So I can now try to recover the highlights. Like, not that bad, right? And, of course, I can also amp the shadows a bit. I can go very dramatic, you know, uh, if I want to do so, where I just damn the shadows and I pump up the highlights. So you'd have these options with, with raw images. Uh, but I'm just thinking maybe when we approach uh, like fourth, fifth bed, I'm not even not sure how many one year eight betters this is gonna be. Maybe I'm gonna be putting this to the test. Now guys, big news. Tomorrow or maybe after tomorrow, my Vivo X100 Ultra will arrive and I'm gonna put it anyway to the test versus the S25 Ultra and the iPhone 16 Pro Max. I know a lot of you are asking about this. And yeah, let's see how it goes, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, ESD over and bye.